This is the sound that's struggling to save one small Delta town. Decades ago, the music was born out of fields and plantations. It used to be cotton country, now it's blues country. To get a first-hand history lesson, I'm meeting up with hometown blues legend James Johnson. You've probably seen Clarksdale change quite a bit uh, over time. What was this like when you were a kid, this whole area downtown? It was shoulder bumping on both sides of the streets. There were so many people out here, and all of the shops was open. We can call it a, a town that was live, went to sleep, woke back up again. What do you think sort of keeping it float, keeping it, uh, you know, going? The blues. The blues. If you got the blues, then you can, you can make it through anything. Now, restaurants, record stores, and blues museums are trickling in, and the tourists including me, lining up. Did you get it? Awesome lady. Did you get it? Thank you. When Super Chicken isn't on the road, he's home, often jamming at the Ground Zero Blues Club, which opened in 2001. Upper West Side, Manhattan, New York. It's owned by Mayor Bill Luckett and Delta native Morgan Friedman. This business was one of the first to spark the town's economic rebirth. I'm on the Clarksdale Revitalization Board, and our motto is keeping it real. We're right on the cusp, I think, of, of it going real big now.